My name is Lloyd Hewen, and I am here with Harris County Public Library, the Tomball Community Library, and the Tomball Innovation Lab. And today we are talking with Patrick Howard. Um, Patrick, go ahead and say hi. Hello, Lloyd. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. So uh, today we are going to be talking about functions within Excel. And you wanted to explain a little bit about uh, functions within Excel uh, and, and show us some things here. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and start with... Uh, with some of those, uh, the basics, you know, what, what is a function, that sort of thing. Sure, and, and first thing I wanted to mention though is, I think a lot of people are scared of functions and that's why they don't try to do them. These really, there's nothing to be scared about. I, I was a complete novice when I started this and I just made the decision, I would learn one function every single day. And after about three months, I was an absolute expert at this. If I can do this, I know you can, but um, I think it's, it's really important um, I think for people that are, that are that consider themselves novices at this, if we start off with taking a look at um, some of the real, this is the basic things about functions. All the functions are going to have these things in common. And let me let me share my spreadsheet here. Oh yes, please. So basically, here's a few things that you need to know about functions. And you can take a look right here. There's this fx. Uh, where in, in, you can see how I have my uh, my cursor right here in this cell E1. You can click on this, and this is all the functions. Okay, so you you can actually go through and, and see all the functions, or you can uh, you can filter them down to like if you want financial functions or, or whatever. So that's one way to get a function. Uh, another way is all you have to do is hit the, the equal sign. And let's say I want to, I'll do an average. When I hit that first A, this drop down menu comes up and you can, you can select from that. Or if you know your function, you can just type it. Okay. So That's wherever you have the, uh, the autofill there is sort of what that correct. is. Yeah. Correct. So wherever you have this cursor right now, that's where the, um, that's where the output is going to be. Okay, and we're gonna, we'll go through an actual function here shortly, but so if you want a number right here, then, then that's, you know, that's where you would put your formula. Okay, now, when I tell it I wanna do an average, I gotta tell it what numbers I'm gonna average. And I've just created a column over here with some numbers. So let's say I wanna have an average of all of these numbers. I would, uh, you know, click the function, and when I put the parentheses there, it tells us I'm, I'm about to tell it, you know, where your arguments are, where, where the data is. It's real simple. You just drag it and highlight all those and close it. Now, what done. would that be called where you highlighted all of them? Is that a specific? Yeah, that's, that's the actual range of data. Okay. Uh, so it's going to ask you for a range. And, and some of these, the more advanced functions, it's going to ask you for some other arguments, but but range is one of the most common uh, arguments it's going to ask you for. Okay. It's, and I guess I really shouldn't have started with, with one quite that complex, but let me show you just, just on some very basic functions. Like I've, I've included here, you see add, subtract, multiply, divide, sum, and average. So just real simple. If you want to add two numbers together, just you start off with the equal. And you don't even have to put a function in. Let's say you wanted to add that number, hit that, and then the plus. And let's say you want to add that number, and then hit return. And you've got your, your solution right there. And it, it would work with any of these. If you change the number, let's say that becomes now a 9. OK, it's automatically going to update in D1. And that's See how that works? Yeah, that's the benefit of using uh, predefined cells whenever you're using your functions is uh, anytime you change the value within that cell, it'll take it. Now, you could also still do that with just plain numbers, right? Static numbers. I, I'm not sure I understand your question. So instead of using like uh, cell A2 plus uh, cell A3, you could also just use a full number, right? Now, that wouldn't be good. the most uh, efficient way, obviously, because then I would have to go in and change the whole function. But if you just wanted to know, like, 2 plus 2, you could also. You could. So you do uh, equals 2 plus 2. Whoops. 2 plus 2. 
There you go. Easy peasy, yes. But that... or, or are you, and I'll tell you something that would be uh, very common. Let's say you wanted to, to do a cell. Oh, let's say this equals this cell plus 50. Okay. So I, for whatever reason, you might want to add 50 to this number. And it could, this number could be anything, 250. See how it changes that. It's just adding 50 to that number. That's very useful. That it is. Yeah, that, that's a... Uh... I I usually find myself using uh, the value the cells the cells themselves and then adjusting the values within those simply because as I create a worksheet or something like that I'm going to be referencing those in multiple places usually so just having right. to reference the cell location is usually what I would do but in a, in the case of something like that where maybe you're like you said you're adding something in order to show a prospected increase based on something that you've said I don't know sure. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's perfect. Add a static yeah. to uh, a location, an existing location's value. Yeah, one other thing I would mention, too, is, and I'm going to go back to uh, the original formula here, so A1 plus A2. I'm glad you mentioned that because you can see how it's written up here, A1 plus A2, or equals A1 plus A2. And let's say you decided uh, you didn't want A1 plus A2, you wanted A1 plus A4. All you have to do is put your cursor there and just change that 2 to a 4 and it changes your formula. That's real simple to do, okay? Super easy stuff, yeah. Uh, another way to do this as well, you can just hit enter, or equals rather, and then click on that. It's not, yeah, not and, there we go. There so it's, it's, it works the same way. There's a lot of different ways you can actually put that formula in there, and they're all very simple. And then let's say we want to subtract a couple numbers. It's really the same thing, it equals, at what I was doing. So, okay, in this argument, it, it's, well, okay, it's, yeah, so it's, it would be parentheses A2 minus A8, which gives you seven, 27. But also using the same uh, methodology we used before, you could do uh, equals, let's see here, what did I say, 27 minus A8, or A, A2 minus A8, you can do the same thing. And actually, you may have noticed that, that I don't have decimals there, so let's uh, let's add some decimals. Oops, that way. So if you want to do a whole column at once, that's how you do it. That's real easy. But uh, so it's the same thing. And if you wanted to change this to the a oh three, okay, you can do the same thing. Can uh, just just type three in there. And something that uh, comes to mind when you brought up the, the original formula with the, the subtraction, you use parentheses. Um, with these uh, fun functions that you're doing, these formulas, a lot of times the parentheses can help you in determining order of operations, right? So, Right. And actually, let me show you that right now on, uh, on one of these. Let's see. I'll, I'll just do some. Oh, let me find some. Oh. Because the sum is a fairly fairly uh, straightforward. Okay, so on this you'll have uh, when it says sum, it you see in the parentheses it's asking you for the range of cells. So if you wanted just to add two numbers together, you do the first number, comma the second number. If you want to add a range, you can do that mouse trick that I showed you and just slide it. It would do one colon, or the first number colon the second or first cell colon second cell. So this always tells you what arguments it's looking for. What, you know, what, what is the input that, that this needs to create this sum? And you can always click on help on this function and, and uh, you, well, you can't see that right now, but um, you click on help and it, it gives you all kinds of, of help and cue cards on, on any function. Uh, I don't know how many functions there are, but there are just Probably hundreds. So, so many functions. I, I, right. I usually stick to the ones you have there. <laughs> In fact, some is usually the one I'm sticking with. <laughs> right. I love having, or used to love having fun with, uh, with oh, nesting functions and whatnot. But that's, it gets pretty advanced. And we just really want to, you know, want to help people get comfortable with using functions. I think we can maybe talk about some advanced later on. But um I just want to get people uh, understanding the basics of how to do functions and, and to not be scared of them. Um, 
again, like multiply, it's the same thing. So multiply if I want to multiply that. Yeah, click that and then the multiply. Let's say that number there, enter. Okay, or it's the same thing. You can do equals with the parentheses. Uh, that times that. Same thing. And once you have that, it's it's pretty easy to divide. It's so you're dividing that divide sign that. Or you can do that with the parentheses. using so a calculator just a little bit more steps <laughs> yeah, it is but but the thing is once you've done that anytime these numbers change you don't have to go back and use your calculator exactly. right exactly yes, yes that's that's the whole reason to, to use functions is to let let this thing uh, do the work for you absolutely now i want to include a couple of them that are just a little more advanced they're, they're not not terrible but these are these are uh functions that are very common some and average and they, they both works the, work the same way. Let's say I wanted to... Equal sum to, to inform it. It's do, there we, yeah. there we go. I, that's what I didn't do. I was, I was trying to talk and, and do it at the same time. There you go. There you Ooh, go. That's a big number. <laughs> that's it's a, a big, big number. number. Well, and, and I included these two numbers right here. So let's say uh, um, you wanted to, to know how long it takes light to get from the sun to the moon. Well, our sun, sun to earth. Well, the sun's about 93 million miles away and it travels at 186,257 miles a second. So you can just say, hey, you know what? Let's do uh, that divided by that. That's how many seconds it takes. So then you can come over here and just say that, oops, equals that divided by 60. That's how many minutes? Wow. And just taking that a step further, just, just to nest it a little bit, you could say equals, and we're going to give it a couple of arguments here. That divided by that, the distance divided by the, the uh, time uh, per sec or the miles per second, and then just divided by 60, and you have the same number. Perfect, and it just puts it right there. Yep. And it's the same, uh, real quickly, the same thing on average, too. You can just, uh, you say you want to average some of the uh, numbers here. Okay, maybe. Average. And then that. That's probably not a very effective, or not very useful number. So it's, you know, probably say, uh, um, let's just say we wanted to do through a eight. eight, eight. Or useful number right there but you get the idea it's it these two functions operate exactly the same these four functions operate exactly the same mm -hmm. and each one we're using those location based uh, cell cell names in order to help us make it easier so as we go at any time we can change this stuff but yeah these these functions are, are used quite a bit do you have you used them at all in, in your work in your job Oh, they, these are things I use every single day. Every day. So it's a great skill to have then, right, is to be able to utilize these functions here. Right. And I'm a mortgage banker by trade, and uh, I mean, yeah, I work with numbers all the time. So this, you know, these are things that this saves me so much time every single day just by knowing how to use these functions. And once you have something set up in a way that you like, maybe it's a form that you're creating or something like that, you can continuously recreate that form over and over again just by copying it essentially right so absolutely yeah and once you really get uh get proficient at forms what you can do is um we'll, we'll maybe in future lessons we'll talk about how you can use numbers from a different sheet or you can add a different sheet and use numbers from that sheet and and create a little um a, like a form if you will or or a um uh, you know, like when you go go uh, fill out a form for an application or something like that, it, it could be like that. And then, you know, so instead of actually messing with all the numbers all the time, you're just, just taking input from your form and then showing a number real quickly. So it's, it, there's a lot of, of really great uses uh, once you learn how to do do for, um, functions. Oh, definitely. Yeah. To start utilizing access for stuff like that. and. The right. online forms, yeah. I, I, that's actually what I end up using a lot more is a, a form creation in order to track stats and stuff. And then I output that into a spreadsheet, which I can then do a pivot table with to, to narrow down specific things. So, like, I, 
it, you know, it, I, I think you just came up with another topic for the future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, one thing I would uh, encourage people to do is just get in there and practice this. That's the only way you can learn. And you're going to make some mistakes. It's okay. Uh, you're not going to mess anything up. Just just practice and get comfortable with it. And once you do that, come back and see some of our future videos. Uh, we're, we're going to talk about some maybe a little more advanced functions or how to use multiple functions at the same time. Um, you know, but it all starts with this first step, getting comfortable with, with these very basic functions. And within a month or two, you're going to be, you'll be an expert. Absolutely. Yes. The, the things that, uh, like Patrick was saying, the things that really help it stick home is just practice, practice, practice. And I mentioned this anytime we run an Excel class as well as the same thing. You come into this, you're going to see this video, uh, you know, you're going to look at it and be like, oh, it's not that simple. It's not that difficult. Um, and that's the truth of it. It's really not that difficult. And you'll think, oh, I got it. And then you'll forget it. <laughs> but, right. but what can what you can do is just continuously practice and then hone that, make it so that it's secondhand nature to you. Um, and there's yeah. a variety of ways to do it. Uh, if you have Excel at home, you can try and do the similar things that Patrick showed us here. Uh, there's also some resources online that give you practice tools as well. So you could do... Um, one of the many uh, open source, like GCF Learn Free, or one of the other tutorial video locations, they, they have practices as well. So sure. there's plenty of places you could look to. But I think uh, creating some more content would be really fun. Uh, we could definitely get into some of the more complex things with uh, functions within Excel, and I'm glad to have you working with us to do that. Oh, it's awesome. And, and you know, one thing I might mention is if uh, people have uh, questions or maybe there's a function they'd like to take a look at, uh, can they get in touch with you, and, and maybe we can do that in a future lesson? Oh, absolutely. So uh, wherever we're going to post this, you can usually leave a comment of some sort. You could also email us directly at the branch. Um, it's tb at the at sign hcpl.net. Or, um, Super. Or, you know, well, I would say call, but we're currently not at the branch. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So um, if you find yourself uh, in need of assistance or you have a question on something or you just want us to try and cover something, leave a comment. Uh, let us know and we will try and work it into something uh, that we can work that we can show you here with a video. All right. So uh, thank you so much, Patrick, for joining us today. I appreciate you uh, helping uh, do this with us. That way we can show a few others what it's what how simple this really is. It's not that difficult. And uh, I hope yeah. that you uh, you you stay safe, <laughs> stay safe out there with COVID, uh, hey. and, and that uh, we'll, we'll see you again soon. Right. It'll be my pleasure. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.